Once upon a time, Amber Heard and Johnny Depp rushed off to their own private island for their Hollywood fairy tale romance. Now the fairy tale is over, and we know what the island was really like. The small island in the Bahamas, known as Little Hall's Pond K, has been called the most pure place on planet Earth. Once you get a look at the island, it's not hard to see why. Light blue water crashes into flawless sandy beaches. Birds and wildlife make their way through the vast interconnected trees. The water is so clear that you can scuba dive and see hundreds of different types of fish with almost no effort at all. During the filming of Pirates of the Caribbean, Johnny evidently spotted this island and fell in love. He decided to purchase it for over $3.6 million. This made him island neighbors with the likes of Eddie Murphy and David Copperfield. The Exumus Islands are so gorgeous that their natural flora, fauna, and inhabitants are protected and cannot be disturbed. So there was absolutely no infrastructure waiting for Depp when he purchased his own slice of paradise. The island is 5 acres in size and has 6 beaches. He then added his own ranch style house with a 360 degree view. There are several other residences including a beach house and a bamboo yurt, all of which is completely solar powered. Depp described his time on the island as very healing, that he is a person who depends on escapism and that riding around on the island in his golf cart was his ultimate escape. Either that or the Guinness on tap he installed. As you would expect for someone like Depp, all of the homes and buildings on his island thread the same needle he does as an actor by being cute, quirky, and classy all in equal measure. Behind the docks is a classic ranch style home in bright blue. This matches Johnny's Gold Coast Australian home pretty perfectly. Just like with the Exumas home, it's a quirky multi-million dollar property on a lush expanse of greenery. It also served as a backdrop for just as much drama when Heard was caught trying to smuggle her dogs into Australia, the first sign to the public that things might not be quite so ideal between the two, though the island property is by far better than the Gold Coast one. Depp declared that he wanted to become King of the Exumas, and as such, started naming his land after his mentors and progeny. That included beaches named after his kids, Lily Rose and Jack Depp. Then there's the one named after his inspiration and friend, Marlon Brando. Apparently, there weren't enough beaches for him to name one after Hunter S. Thompson. That's surprising. Depp also fell in love with the little tiny locals. He reportedly met a five foot long iguana who he instantly named Iggy. This does seem like a serious missed opportunity to name the little guy Rango. It almost seems like Depp doesn't consider his performance in Rango to be the best of his career. This island is where he healed after substance abuse problems, bombed movies, and failed marriages. So it was the perfect spiritual oasis in 2015 for the next big step in his life, marrying Amber Heard. The two had a private beachside wedding that was apparently so beautiful that the two were both crying over the memories even as they were testifying against each other in court. It seemed like a beautiful but simple ceremony with only a handful of guests. This included several members of both sides of their family. Of course, once you've already spent millions on your own private island, you really don't need to spend that kind of money on a venue. Destination weddings usually cost $990 per guest on the low side. People end up paying hundreds of thousands on the kind of scenic locale Depp calls his backyard. It was the perfect ceremony with the perfect honeymoon. Nothing seemed like it could go wrong. So what exactly happened on that island? Well, back in the day, it seemed like this was the ultimate family vacation spot. While Johnny initially just considered it his own private oasis, eventually, Amber Heard and the rest of the family considered it to be the same. The entire island, like one of Depp's films, was just a call to adventure. There were lush, untamed green trails to map, wildlife to meet, beaches to run through as you jump into the ocean, a yacht to swim out to, and so much more. 
and that's just the island. The property itself featured a long pool that was perfect for chill days when you don't really want to go out and live that beach life. Despite the fact that this island was supposed to be the family's oasis away from their problems, as we all learn eventually, the problems end up finding you, even on vacation. Well, there were several incidents that have been referenced in the recent trial. A big point of focus in the trial was the yacht that Depp purchased for his private island trips. The ship, which is apparently pronounced the Jolly Raja after the Jolly Roger, which Depp reportedly purchased for $8 million, has been described as a timeless classic. It has a 1930s classic steamboat style with non-functional masts and a smokestack. It features one master, two double, and two twin cabins, alongside enough space for a crew of eight. While there are no helicopter pads to speak of, it does feature kayaks, water skis, windsurfers, and game consoles like the Wii or PlayStation 3, both of which were new at the time that they were purchased. So one can see why this would be such a hard yacht to lose though it also apparently cost him hundreds of thousands of dollars to keep it staffed and maintained. According to Heard, parting with his famous yacht was very painful for him. He decided to sell it to author of the Harry Potter series, J.K. Rowling. While having a final voyage in the Bahamas with his family, Heard states that Depp's erratic behavior was starting to concern his then-teenage daughter, Lily Rose Depp. She then called in a helicopter so that she could escape safely with Lily Rose. Depp has countered this with witnesses of his own. Tara Roberts managed Depp's private island since 2008. She told the court that she witnessed an altercation while they were on the private island. She heard Amber refer to her husband as, quote, a washed up actor, that he was going to die a fat, lonely old man. So it is no wonder that Johnny is now trying to sell the island to whoever wants it for $5 million. It seems to be less of a private paradise island anymore, so much as it is a curse. So please don't let Tom Holland or Zendaya bite. The internet can't take more hurt. Now all that's left to wonder is how long exactly Ryan Murphy will wait before making this into a season of American Crime Story.